Hi everybody, so today I'm doing a video that I've been promising for a very long time but it did take months to do and it is my makeup room. Now we did decorate it last October, or my husband did anyway. Um, I wasn't very well in bed and he brought all this stuff to me and I went through everything, sorted the drawers out and we had a huge overhaul of this room. It looks completely different than what it did. Before it felt like a room that um, was a room and I just put a desk in with makeup on if that makes sense and made it a makeup room but it wasn't specifically designed for that so this time I got to pick out wall paint and furniture and painted furniture specifically for the room and then designed the furniture and the layout so <laughs> yeah it was really good to do sorry I'm a little bit shaky um it was really good to do I feel like now it feels like my space my room I feel like it's got me slumped all over it and yeah I really really love it so I still want to paint the bathroom door which is wood um we've still got that to do and we need a door handle for it we need a replacement door handle but other than that everything else is kind of done and it's kind of when do you film it and when do you like I'm always going to be adding things to it so when do you say well now it's finished because I don't think it ever will be so <laughs> anyway I'm going to share the room with you okay so we're going to start in this corner. That's the bathroom door, um, no handle. We're going to sort that out. But over in this corner, I've got my little, I think they're called Hemlers. I can't quite remember, but they're from Ikea and I will link it in the information bar below. Basically just metal file and cabinet drawers. Amazing. I basically have in here um, some bits and pieces, a few little bits of makeup that I'm not using. Um, some stuff that I really don't want to part with. Um, my MAC stash of like backups of lipsticks and a couple of other products. And then in the top three, that is my makeup stash. I'll give a quick look. So in the top one is all kind of base products and stuff. And I've got a Zoeva makeup bag in there. Uh, there's a lot of, that's not a set. That's just all little mini MAC mascaras and it's full. <laughs> um, so those are my mascaras and kind of like eyeshadow stuff in here. And then in here, these are all like swaps and from little palettes and stuff. So yeah, little aligners, some makeup bags. I've got my Cheekathon palette in there that I've not yet got out. And a lot of lip products and stuff. So it's all kind of just stuff I've kind of accumulated. But it's handy to have a stash. I've actually just shopped it and got a few things out of it. So. And then on top of there is this old hi-fi. Oh my goodness. I think this is at least, I want to say it's around 24 years old now. Um, I was only a child when my parents got this, but it works amazingly. Um, the only thing that doesn't matter is the radio just because we don't have an aerial for it, but we've got cassettes and yes, I still do have some old cassettes lying around. I don't think... Oh yeah, there you go. <laughs> and then there's the CD player and I've got my iPod plugged into it at the moment with this wire, which is great. Um, I've just been using that non-stop. Down the side of there, I do store all my stands and stuff. So my camera stand, my umbrellas, stands softbox stand and umbrellas so everything just goes quite neatly down the side then on top just some hankies my clarisonic this because i can't bear to put it in a drawer this is my freebie from benefit which is son of a beach and it's just like a pouch then up here i've got some pictures this is an original piece of art and it's got the certificate on the back i actually got this from an artist in america i got it from ebay and i absolutely love it and then underneath is the print that I got from Horror Block. It's difficult to see with the light, I'm, I apologise. Um, but it's basically just like all famous zombie characters. Um, Michael Jackson's on there, if you can see him there. Um, but that was from Horror Block and I framed that up. I think they look really nice in that corner. And what you will see with this room is there's quite a lot of horror stuff mixed with beauty. It's just very kind of eclectic. It's all of my kind of tastes. So <laughs> I know it's not for everybody and it's not a standard beauty room. So next I've just got this lamp and I have to mention this. This is a masquerade mask. It's on a hairband. I'm not going to take it off, but um, this was when we went to see the Lady Boys of Bangkok. They were so amazing and so beautiful. Um, but this was quite expensive. We got this from kind of the gift shop at the end and I absolutely love it. And that's just on top of the lamp. If I do have the lamp on for a while, I do take it off because I don't want the feathers to 
you know, singe or something. I don't think that they would because they're not touching the bulb, but I worry about it, so I take it off. And then I've got this mouse mat, which is a Ouija board, which was horror block again. Um, I've just got my like palm reading hand back there. I really like that palm reading hand. I got it from TK Maxx and it was 4 99 and I just thought it was just so cool. I really, really like it. And it's got um, my Lord of the Rings ring on there. A picture that my daughter did me. And then I've got this little thing that I got from a charity shop with cherubs on. And I've just got my vlog and camera in there. And behind it, I've just found my case. So I've just kind of put it with it for now. Then I've got my tray full of perfumes. I've already done a perfume collection and there's only a couple of things added which is like the island fantasy. I've added that and um, actually I think that's the only one that I've got <laughs> since I did the video. Although I might have got the Maui one. And then back in here I've just got lots of like mini perfumes. I've got this tiny little curious that I got ages ago. Um, this Avon one. This is from when I was a child, my nana got me it. It used to have a little flower in its ear which has got lost over time. But it's really cute. And then just some other ones. These are all mini from Glossy Boxes. The Chanel number no. 5 was from my mum. But these are all kind of just little mini Glossy Box perfumes and I really like them. Moving up. And here I've got a little purple light from Ikea. Again, there'll be footage at the end with everything lit up. My favourite Janet Jackson album cover and picture. I used to have a massive poster, which is seven foot by five foot on my wall of this when I was a teenager. Absolutely loved it. And then I've got this um, little salt and pepper set that Alec got me, which is Frankenstein and his bride. And then this cup that Tony got me, which is the Alice in Wonderland cup. And then I've just got some bits and bobs. Some, um, these are all single eyeshadows and these are all like little sachets of beauty stuff. Then I've just got a little egg cup holder there with some bubbles that were from a wedding that I went to. And then just a mix of products. So there's a lot of vintage Chanel number no. 5 on here. Some stuff that my mum got that she's never used. Little samples, old, like sort of vintage bottles. This one has gone bad. It's a really old one. It was actually my nana's. So, um, so after she passed away, I got some of her perfume bottles. And then that's gone off as well. But yeah, just some bits and bobs there. And that's on a little, um, this is, these are great. I have a ton of these, sorry if you see my hunky there. Uh, I've got tons of these. These are just the little Ikea metal shelves. They're absolutely fantastic. I've had them for years. I'm sure you've seen them in previous collections, but they're just great to kind of give you that extra space on that shelf. That would just be one layer, but because I've put that, I've got two layers, which is great. I definitely want to get some more. Then on the top shelf, um, a lot of hair stuff in here and just some other like little bits of skincare that I want to be using. And then I've gone mad on this brand, which is Patisserie de Balm. These are three hand creams. And then we've just got some kind of body sprays. And I absolutely love First Glow. It's Love at First Glow by JLO. This is the, I think this is the body lotion. And then behind it, I've got Miami Glow. Uh, they're my two favourite fragrances from JLO. I absolutely love them um, and love the body lotions. This little jar, I actually got these little glasses from a charity shop, 150 uh, for three and sadly one got broken well actually I just, just seem to disintegrate I think they're very old it's got this girl blowing a dandelion on it it's really pretty so that's it's in there with a tea light in and then that's just a necklace Alec bought me I've got another one of the hand creams it's my favorite one which is the orange crush believe which is my favorite Britney fragrance that's the body lotion and then I've just got these two hand and body lotions from patisserie de Ban here because they were on offer um, and Strawberry Cupcake is my other favourite fragrance. Then I've got my Clinique Clarifying Lotion and then I think that's a body sculpt thing at the back. So that's everything kind of on that shelf. Um, I'll try to be a bit quicker. Up on the top I've got my speakers at either end. I've got the three Barry M bit of makeup bags that I'm not using at the moment up there. Just kind of on display. And then these are all a bunch of horror block things for the most part in the picture that Tony did of me. Um, but yeah, you've got like Chucky and the Hoff um, pinhead that we got. Alec like, got me this ghost face and then there's another one um, which came in a horror block. He, he forgot that I had it. I got this from a charity shop. It's like really old and it's Eeyore dressed for Halloween and I just love that it said trick or treat on his bag. It reminds me of um, Michael Myers in Halloween um, which is a bit creepy <laughs> but 
And then just some more like sort of horror block, like the Freddy and the Jason, the plushies there from Horror Block. Um, but I did buy the large Funko Pops of Jason and Freddy myself. Alec got me the Jason figure, and then there's oh, sorry, Jason. There's <laughs> these little mini ones. That's the little guy from Trick or Treat, and then the Jason and the Freddy, and they were in a tin from Horror Block. So that's kind of my little horror block display up there. I've got this plinth here that I got from a charity shop with I'm not using for anything at the moment, so I put it there. And then I got this little Funko Pop, and he's the Doctor from The Strain, and then that is my bottle opener, Ernie. I just keep him up there, he's kind of cool. And then I got this picture from eBay, and framed it. This is a very old frame. We bought it for a pound from a clearance store. It's quite damaged, but I, I quite like how it looks. And it just says, zombies are harmless till someone gets bitten. And I really like it, I like the sort of pin-up style. And on top of the speaker is a Chanel box. My dad got Chanel for my mum for Christmas, um, so that's the empty box. And then the Alice in Wonderland palette box on the top. On the top shelf, I've got this from Horror Block framed up. Um, it's actually signed by the, the little girl who was in the first episode, The Walking Dead. And it's where Rick thinks it's a little girl wandered along the street with a little teddy bear in her hand. And when she turns around, she's a zombie. And the actress is called Addie Miller. And I really like that. I framed that up and I want to get the Funko Pop of that. And then behind there, there's just a couple of tins. I'm not going to take it out. And then just a couple of more like figurines from the horror block, which are the two aliens. This is a cup um, that I absolutely love. <laughs> Little arms, big raw. I love Rex. He's my favourite Toy Story character. So that is him there. And I put that here because Alec is very clumsy and breaks things. <laughs> so... I had to preserve the cup <laughs> and I had to put it up on the shelf and display it, but he's so cute. I love seeing him every day in here. And then I've got Urban Decay palettes, which I'm not currently using or not much. I'm trying to use the Mariposa and the little mini one, um, but these old books of shadows I don't use and I've never used the Alice in Wonderland. Um, I got that off eBay. And then I've got a couple that I do use, which is Naked and Naked 3, um, Sustainable which I haven't used for a long time. And then I've got the 15th anniversary and the one I made up. Coming down on the next shelf, just a lot of trinkets. I'm, again, not gonna go through everything on here. I will mention a few things. I love this picture that Tony did me of this mermaid. I've got another picture quite similar over there, but she actually painted this one. And behind that, I've just got my mirrored drawers, which I love. A lot of little trinkets from kind of charity shops, so little glasswares and a mirror and things. These were my granddad's. Um, he was a bus driver in London. Um, in the 40s and that's when that's from and then he was actually also in the services so that's like his little thing he wore on his hat and then I wanted to show you this because this was my nana's it's a very very old perfume bottle I'd hate to think what it smells like um, but I just love this bottle there was another bottle that I wanted but I don't know what happened to it after she passed but I did manage to get that one and then fuzzy peach from the body shop I don't know if anybody remembers that but I wore that constantly as a teenager I've got my little sign, Lisa's bedroom, from when I was a child. And then there's just some bits and bobs. So I love this. It's kind of like, I think you meant to stand it downwards and just put jewellery in it and stuff. But I've just got a bunch of stuff in here from my childhood and from when Tony was little. So this little thing that she used to have on her wrist as a child, like a little rattle. I think from a Scooby-Doo game. Um, that was a little Avon perfume. She's kind of difficult to see. That was mine. Uh, a little wedding shot glass, um, some toys. That's the other Avon perfume that is a dog. Um, a little weird polar bear that was my great grandma's. So kind of just full of nice little trinkets that I just, I, I like things like that. I'm a very sentimental person. That's the other glass. And then I've got just this glass of the tea light in. I'm just gonna move this out in front of this. Right, Links of London, little empty boxes. They had sweets in them, I don't, Oops, <laughs> I don't know why I keep them, I just do. <laughs> and then I've got the Lucky Duck. Um, this is my auntie's and she passed away and my mum gave me to this, made me this for good luck. I'm gonna move them down there. And then just, yeah, copper board. This is a little light that I got from Wilkinson's and it kind of, um, it lights up and then it displays the pumpkin on the wall, like when you shine it. And his little face lights up. <laughs> I like all things horror. Um, yeah, so that's on there. And then on the end of this display unit, I've got this lady, you can't really see the shape of her here, um, but it's basically just like a metal bust and it's got loads of jewellery hanging on it. Again, I would never go through all that. 
and kind of explain it, but hair bands and necklaces and stuff like that. I've got Freddie's hat from Nightmare on Elm Street. That's actually from a licensed um, sort of dress up outfit. Um, so yeah, I love this. And there is the tag. And I just hang that in here. I definitely want to get like probably Jason's mask and then maybe um, Michael Myers, something from Michael Myers as well, just kind of have those touches in the room. Up here, this was from Horror Block and it comes with like the little certificate. These are the two girls from The Shining and it says come play with us at the top and they both signed it, Lisa and Louise Burns. So that is really cool. That was a horror block item and I framed that up and put it up there. And then three postcards. <laughs> don't answer the phone. Don't open the door. Don't try to escape. Those are obviously from the tagline for the Scream movie. Funny story, I bought these off eBay. They were only like three pound including postage and that was four postcards. And I already had them inside the DVD <laughs> that I already owned. Um, but I love them. Um, I've got kind of a scream slash horror collection here. A couple of books that we've got from Horror Block and a couple of comics and then these are my scream books. So there's three scream books and then a number of DVDs. I have got the DVD box set and I've also got it on Blu-ray downstairs. Then I got the special edition or Alec got me that one, a special edition. Then this is just the standard edition DVD um, that's got the white cover. So I've kind of got it in all different formats and then I own it on VHS as well and <laughs> limited edition blu-ray because <sighs> you know and i've got the soundtrack i'm a mad scream fan screams my favorite film of all time um so yeah that's why i have so many things from it but i love how that looks on there and then i've got my little ghost face he was from horror block and then that's the other postcard that says do you like scary movies and i like that the taglines are downwards on the other wall like kind of going down there and then i like that that is there Behind there, the mirrored drawers, there's a little silver tray and then just some little trinkets from charity shops. I love the little tray at the back with all the little birds on. One of them's hanging upside down, it's so cute. And then just a little cup that's full of lip balms. I've got the Carrie film cell that we got in Horror Block. That's in like a little glass frame. He's the doorstop from Horror Block, it just, I like how he looks displayed on there. I've got a little bit of space here to kind of put things down. Um, which I use when I'm filming and stuff. And then this is a bottle. I think this is gin. Alec brought it home for me and it's basically got like the little twinkly lights in. I've actually just took the batteries out to charge it so I will try and get those charged so I can do like a little video with it lit up. And then it's just got some black flowers in and some glossy box ribbons tied around it. A Polar Guys mouse mat from Horror Block and then just a bunch of glass things which I've got bits of jewellery in, it's all junk jewellery, little bits of hair stuff and then I've got this really old phone and um, when my neighbour passed away they asked if I wanted anything and the, they kind of just had took everything they wanted from the house and I took two phones, <laughs> just shows you how old it is, there were only five numbers in a telephone, in your telephone numbers um, but I really really love it, it's got the rope, kind of the wire so I've got that there. I really like kind of old things. And then there's just kind of, these are just bracelets and earrings and just bits and bobs really. Nothing really exciting there. But that is what that looks like. Some people might find it quite cluttery, but it's all just kind of stuff that I love, stuff that I use, and I really think it's pretty. So that's there. And then the drawers, these were wood with wooden handles and Alec basically sanded this down and painted it. Now all of the drawers at the bottom, the big ones, were all broken. So we did have to kind of put them back together, the bottoms were broken from having too much stuff in. And a lot of them like were just kind of swollen over time. This is around 20 years old, this, bit, this um, set of drawers, so it's very old. So basically they all kind of stick out slightly. <laughs> Because some of them close and some of them don't. So we just kind of made it a bit of a feature that the door, the drawers kind of sit out. And I think it looks quite nice. And I got the handles off eBay. Then here, this is my desk. But down the side of it I have this wooden... Now, this is a fire guard. And you might think a wooden fire guard. That's not really very much use. Um, but it was basically just something that kind of more affluent families had. To kind of put in front of the fire so that you couldn't see the fire. I mean not when it was on but when it was off it just kind of hid you know the fire and just you know 
made it look pretty I suppose. It was a dark wood but we painted it. I have my little morgue sign hanging down here because I think that's quite funny. And then my desk. This is the original desk. Um, it It's around the 1940s. Alec actually got this from a little antique shop for me. Um, it did need a little bit of work and the top of it was all very damaged. We actually scraped all the leather off the top and like completely took everything off and it's actually quite nice on the top now. Little dents here and there but if you took everything off it would look okay. Um, but he just kind of sanded it, fixed it because this leg was kind of pulled out. And yeah, we just painted it and put new little knobs on it, which are from eBay as well. They're a little bit smaller than these ones because it would have looked a bit daft. <laughs> like the drawers would have looked silly with tiny ones and the desk would have looked stupid with the big ones. So I just got kind of like the slightly smaller version. So that's the desk. This glass is called Malm, I think, and it's kind of a very strength and toughened glass. I like it on here with like my Marilyn collage underneath. I think it looks pretty. And I've had that a long time, the Marilyn collage now. I could change it, but I think I quite like it. And yeah, that's the desk. And we put it here, like against the kind of staircase part here, because I think that this kind of creates a wall almost once you get the bootcase and stuff on and it makes it more of a room because obviously it's open to the rest of the hallway so I've got my very old tin that was my neighbours as well you can't see my little raven up there <laughs> and then I've got this old bathroom door and I know that sounds really crazy we got rid of this cabinet because it was just kind of fallen to pieces but I like the glass in it and when the lights are on on top of it and you can see through it it's just really nice from the other side it's just I think it's quite nice and it just creates a little bit more wall if you like so I quite like that and Alec just got me this recently from a charity shop and it's Snape he's a Funko Pop I love Alan Rickman I've loved Alan Rickman for the longest time and he just died this year on my birthday so yeah very sad but there he is I've not got too much into the desk or anything here, just mention a few things. Um, I got this clip-on lamp from Argos and it was a Habitat. Now these are £20 now but when I got it, it was on offer for 10 and I've just kind of run the wire down here and then I can just turn it on there and I just hang my little hairbands on it. And there's a horror block, another kind of picture on the side of there. And then I'll go into kind of what's on the desk, but there's another one of these baby bootcases. These are from Argos and I have two over here. I love this because this almost makes this kind of these drawers kind of like a dresser and I really like that effect. And I love this because I don't like having makeup all in drawers because then you forget what you've got and you don't use it. And because of all these things are kind of on display, I use things more. And I only like things one layer deep in drawers, so <laughs> I kind of need to have my collection out. So that is what the makeup collection looks like and I will be doing a video like I said. I got this tray um, from a charity shop for 3 50 It's actually a silver plated. It's really really old and it doesn't have any damage. I was so pleased with it. It's got this really nice effect down the side. And I did know what I wanted to do with it um, but I just had to have it because I love things like that. But it's actually amazing at night when you've got this little light on. So I'll include that footage at the end. But this is just a little Philips light that you kind of just touch for it to come on. And just lots of different colours. And as you can see, it's kind of lighting that up now. Nighttime, it just looks amazing. So, And then up on the wall, this is from TK Maxx. It's a, like a fan art sort of poster, which is Halloween, the night he came home. I love this picture. And then at the top is this framed photo of the cast from Scream. Alec doesn't like this, but I absolutely love this picture. And it is my favourite film, so. So my stool was from a little second-hand shop. It was just absolutely full. It was like Aladdin's cave. You just wouldn't believe it. And we found this stool and it's got like a couple of little, it's got that one missing and it had a little bit of damage to it. Um, but he wanted 15 and I said, will you take 10? Because it's damaged and he was like, go on then. <laughs> so I got that and I like that it's long because it's nice, like if it was a small stool, it wouldn't be so comfortable. I can sit and put my feet up on it or you know, Finley can sit next to me. And we painted the legs on that as well because they were ivory. Underneath there, I've um, just got my bin, my ring lights in the corner and um, my brush cleaner. 
And then this is the top half of a little set of drawers, set of drawers, a little shelving unit. I used to have shoes on it, um, but I'd sold a few pairs of shoes and kind of had to reorganise and got rid of some. So we chopped it in half, the other half still in the bedroom with shoes on, and then this we just kind of painted it to match the room in white, and then I kind of just use it for storage under here. So I've got stuff that I'm selling. Uh, my Sigma brush stand, this is all for posting, so this is all kind of scissors, paper, envelopes and wrapping. A couple of um, lipstick stands that I'm looking to sell or get rid of. And then at the top, my lighting gear, my plugs, um, a box full of stuff for giveaways and a box of stuff that I'm looking to pass on to other people. That's under there. There's a little grey rug which is so soft, it's from Wilkinson's, it was £10, super soft on your feet. And then this stand, which was from Wilkinson's. Now this cost nothing. I think it was 15. They sent me one. If you follow me on Instagram, you'd have seen how damaged the box was when it came. And basically they just, it was chipped quite badly. And they just sent me a new one at no extra cost. The other one I've actually put in the bedroom. It's really useful. There's just kind of um, flannels and cloths on the bottom and a couple of empty sort of Nutella jars, which I use to put brushes and stuff in. Second one's kind of skincare and some sprays, scrunchies and cotton buds. Top one, um, I've got these kind of empty things standing on the back. When I do a makeup video, like a get ready with me, I put everything that I've used in there so I can kind of list it afterwards, otherwise I forget. Also in here, I've got like my MAC Fix Pluses. So I've got the yellow and the pink, which is Yuzu and Rose. I've got Standard, I've got the Minimalized Water. This from a glossy box, which is the Moisture Mist. So a couple of moisture mists, a towel that I use to clean my brushes, the model's own fixing spray and brush cleaner at the back and also baby wipes. I always have baby wipes, a fan and a mirror. So really, really useful. Absolutely love this. Behind it is a mirror that I got from a charity shop. It's from around the 70s. It's really quite big. I really like the mirror. I sometimes use it when I put my makeup on and it was only 150. So that was an absolute bargain. And then next to that, I've got this unit. I actually got fully refunded for this um, because it's got, the wheel came off the back. Um, there's a scratch on the top. The draw things wouldn't go in. There was dints on it. So it's got a little bit of damage on it and they just kind of refunded me and said, just keep it um, because it's not gonna last too long, to be honest. It's not very well made. Um, and yeah, it's got a problem with like one of the draw things, so. But that was from eBay. Um, I'm probably going to be looking for another one to replace it at some point. But for now, it's okay. So in here, um, I've got like the bottom drawer, bottom shelf, and the bottom sort of little drawer. That's all SFX stuff. So all my SFX makeup is in there. And then I've got a couple of things of brushes. My old Real Techniques brushes are there. This one, it's a bit messy. I apologise. I've just got some packaging in there. Um, that I just stuff I've just purchased. I like to keep it to show in videos. Plus there's some palettes and a bunch of Mac, back to Mac products. I've got enough to do about four back to Macs now. And then over here are my colour plop shadows. Did I just say colour plop? <laughs> no, these are all colour pop. These are just um actually for drawers to put your colour in, so colour reorganizers, but they're absolutely ideal to put the colour pop in. And then I've got another one of those cut reorganizers at the top. This will feature in my makeup collection and it's just got some random palettes in. And then this drawer up here is like all of my MAC palettes. So um, there's a couple of blush palettes and then the rest's eye palettes. And then what I love about this drawer, oh, some receipts that shouldn't be there. What I love is these sort of salad tongs from Halloween. And they just kind of go in like that. And then that just looks like some sort of creature sort of reaching out. <laughs> I don't know, I've got a dark sense of humour, I quite like it. And then, um, just the knobs, which I got from TK Maxx, which I couldn't, I didn't want to get these because they basically did them in packs of eight or more. And I couldn't just get four. And I didn't want to buy eight because I knew I wouldn't need them. So I just got these pack, it was 4 99 at TK Maxx. And they're crystal anyway, they're really pretty. And then on top of there, an Ikea lamp. Um, this is a little light that I saw in somebody's video. Where's my button? And it just looks like, you know the old cinema? Like the old things above cinemas where they look like that and then they just kind of slid the letters in for the names of the films. 
So I really like it. I think it's really nice. So um, it came with all the letters and stuff, which are in the drawer and numbers, but it's got Never Sleep Again at the moment, which is obviously a Nightmare on Elm Street reference. This that I found in a charity shop, I think it was 150, but it actually matches with that. And it's got like the trellis side as well. I like these little silver toys. I think they're quite nice and decorative. Quite nice to take pictures on and stuff. A little Ikea thing full of um, little pearlized marbles and flowers. This is my little mannequin that I used to do. Like, um, I put plasticine, not plasticine, clay on her to make kind of little latex prosthetics. She's got an eye missing, but I think that kind of just adds to things. It kind of creeps Alec out. And then she's got this wig on. Um, then I've got just this little thing from Matalan, and I love this candle. It is from Primark, and it is the scented candle Sea Salt Breeze. <gasps> Oh, it smells so amazing. <laughs> so that's on there. On the windowsill, I've got this creepy doll. She's got problem with her eyes as well. I got her in a charity shop and I love her. I just wanted to get like a couple of dolls for the room because I think they can be quite creepy. And I've got this picture that I got from eBay and I just framed it up. I actually just bought another one of these because they were 9 99 from TK Maxx and framed it up so it looks the same. Just the screen poster. Ali got me this one from Amazon. It's like kind of a, another fan art one of Scream, which we framed. That's a Wilkinson's frame. This is a little Yankee candle um, wax melter. Let me just put the candle on the back. And yes, it's Halloween all year round in here. Then I've got this other poster that I got and this is an old Ikea frame. We've had this forever. We just took the picture out of it and then I framed up this picture which I got off eBay. It's just an alternative movie poster for Scream that I really like because it's got that don't answer the phone tagline on the top. Um, also on here is this just little container and it just says love on the front. It's from B&M and in here are just a bunch of flannels. It's a way of a foundation brush that I use to put on these face masks so it's kind of like a little sort of face mask type of thing and then this container which is for my brushes from Ikea. Um, it's just a plant pot holder. When my brushes are dirty I pop them in there and then I wash them. And then this kind of decorative box from TK Maxx. It's got my Revlon mirror underneath. I apologise, it's a bit dusty. Um, but it's just got my Scream mask on top. And I actually got that when the video was released for Scream. So that's... I got him in 97. So he's the original one. And he's the proper licensed Scream mask from the film. Basically, when you bought the video... <laughs> this is how far we go back. When you bought the video from Woolworths, you got him free. So that was cool. And we put a little flower crown on him because I had it on him and then I took it off because Alex said it wasn't very good and then Tony was like, but I like it. So I put it back on. <laughs> and then Alec is creeped out by this. It's kind of like a little girl with Princess Leia buns and she's got her hands under her chin. I got it from a charity shop and it's just got these fake flowers in. I think she's cute. And then a magnifying glass. I use that to see the names on the bottoms of lipsticks and stuff. And that was from TK Maxx and it was 5 99 then on top of this Ikea unit, this is an Ikea unit, I can't remember what it's called but it's it's since been renamed anyway but it's just got these material kind of things in and then it's full of glossy boxes in the bottom of most of them and it's all kind of my stash um, so some skincare stuff, there's some stuff I'm selling in here some stuff that I've got for a giveaway um, but the rest of them are pretty much organised so I probably should have showed you one of them but it's full of glossy boxes that are full of stuff from glossy boxes and I just kind of use that as my stash I actually need to go in here and pick a few things out that I've run out of so it's really really useful and then we come to this so this is the top of it and on top of here I've got this little silver tray again this is from a charity shop I thought it was quite pretty and I just kind of put my phone on there and my glasses if I'm going in the shower or my hair clip and stuff it's just quite useful and then I've got a bit of space up here I got this sign on eBay it says what if the hawker's focus is what it's all about which I thought was really cool and then my Lady Funko Pops are here so you've got Lily Munster, Reagan from The Exorcist and Bride of Frankenstein I have this little um, nail polish stand. This is a recent purchase and it's just a clear acrylic one and it's got five tiers and I love it for my limited edition MAC lipsticks. They did used to all be together in this stand but I just, I got irritated with it. <laughs> I didn't like how they kind of dotted all over and I didn't like how it looked. 
And then I put them in here and I kind of organised them according to colour, but now I've organised them according to collection. So you've got like Kelly Osborne, Marilyn, um, Rocky Horror, then the Cinderella one there. And they're just kind of all organised that way. And I really like how it looks. So I'm really pleased with that. And then that's my seven tier nail polish stand. It's amazing how they kind of go up in price very quickly. Um, the five one's quite reasonable. And then this one was, I think this was about 24 pounds, including postage. Um, but it's black on the sides, which I really like because I feel like it looks like kind of the Mac counter. And it's got all of my Mac lipsticks in. And I know it looks like how, what would you tell what you've got? But I've got purples, corals, pale pinks, uh, bright pinks, dark reds, reds and unusual colours at the front. So it's all kind of organised by colour. So yes, you do sometimes kind of have to, oh sorry Lily, <laughs> you do sometimes have a little bit of a search around for like what colour you're looking for, um, but it's only among like kind of each line, so it's not too bad. So that's there. And I did get another one of these like five tier ones, which is over here. I love these. They don't take up too much space on your desk, but there's around 60 lipsticks in there, so it's a lot of lipstick. And I like that you can kind of see them, whereas if they were all flat, it would just be a bit of a nightmare, and I just think that they look quite good. And then, last few things. Um, oh, I didn't even talk about the walls, we just painted them matte black. The ceiling was a matte grey, and then I decided I didn't like it and painted it a matte black, and that's where I hit one of my stands. <laughs> Oops, <laughs> I kind of need to go over that. Um, and yes, the, the window in here is frosted. This was originally going to be one big bathroom. Um, the wall here was actually a bit further back, but we just kind of moved the wall to here and then left it at that instead of doing one big bathroom. Just, I thought it was going to be too much. So, and plus this means that I've got a window on the landing. So it was frosted and just decided to kind of keep it that way, which I actually quite like. It's a lot better for this room to be frosted. The next thing's this sign from TK Maxx. I think this needs its battery. I might have took the batteries out. Oh no, the batteries are still in, but they're dying. Um, this was 9 dollars in the sale at TK Maxx. It's quite big, as you can see. And it's just a metal sign that says spooky. And I really, really like it, and I like it there. I think it looks quite good. And then, one of my pride and joys of the room. This is a poster that was created by a guy on eBay. And it's really huge. This is a huge frame from TK Maxx which I got refunded for this because I need to replace it. It's kind of bowing out at the sides, but apparently it's because of the size of it. I don't know whether they did a recall, um, but I emailed them about it and they were like, they mentioned that there'd been some kind of issue with it and they just refunded me for it. So that was very good. I don't think it was very much to be fair. I think it was around 15 and it's only plastic in it. It's not glass. Um, but it was very difficult to get a frame for this very large poster. It's huge. Um, but it's this fan poster that this guy made. And it says, Wes Craven makes you scream. And of course, we've lost Wes Craven very recently also. Which, two huge icons of mine I've lost in the last year. Um, yeah. So it's got all the actors' names at the bottom. And then they're all drawn. So it's not even like real pictures, which I really love. And you've got a lot of characters that not necessarily are appearing like kind of on standard posters. So you've got like Principal Himbury, which is um, the Fonzie. <laughs> um, then you've got David Arquette as Dewey. You've even got, got Steve, Stephen Orth, who is the first one that dies with Casey. That's our boyfriend. You've got him. You've got Stu there with a the fawn. Um, Courtney Cox, of course, Gail Weathers. And then you've got Drew Barrymore's Casey. I like that she's on the fawn. Ghost face in the centre. Then you've got um, Sydney Prescott, you've got like, your two main females there, um, which is Nev Campbell. You've got Billy. <laughs> and then you come down and you've got Randy and Tatum. And then you've got the house in the background there, with the car in front of it. And then you've even, which I hadn't noticed at first, you've even got Casey hanging, which is the image like when she gets killed at the beginning of the film. I'm sure it's not a spoiler alert, it's such an old film. It's actually the anniversary of the film this year. Um, it was released this year, 20 years ago. So I remember going to the pictures to see it. Favourite film ever. And I love this, it's absolutely huge. I'm gonna try and step back a bit further. But it just looks amazing. And I don't think I explained about this. The reason I have this fire stand thing here 
is that the dogs, well not the dogs, the dog, the Jack Russell likes to get in and he likes to try and chew things. He takes brushes and stuff from under there and he chewed up a Revlon brush. It's very old so I wasn't too bothered but he tries to get on the desk so that's there to stop the dogs coming in. So I said I wasn't going to go in a huge amount of detail but that is the room, the desk, this is the window wall and then here beside the door. I think I've used the space really well and then over here and I know there's a lot of stuff but I like clutter personally some people like it really clean but I love all the things that I love the things that I have memories about and just I absolutely love that and I love having all my things around me I just I feel it very comforting so that's it for the room tour I hope you've enjoyed it um, I'm sorry it was a bit longer than expected but I did get a bit waffly but you know that I get waffly I just want to talk through the stuff that's in my room because I'm really passionate about it and I'm excited because on a night time when I run a bath I just used to run the bath and just like kind of sit in the bedroom and wait but now I come in here and I clean the surfaces and I tidy and organize and I really love the room I love the relaxing feel I love that we've decorated it and I've imprinted it as my beauty room and it just feels like my room now before it just felt like a room that I, like I said, all I did was, I had the drawers with the jewellery on anyway. And if you look back at my old videos, you used to see that behind me in my background. But now, I just feel like that's still there, but it's organised better. And I've got the, you know, I've got the bootcases there and I feel like it's full of the things that I really love. So all the horror stuff's here my beauty stuff I love, my memory stuff's here and it just feels very much like it's a very relaxing place for me. I like candles in here, I put my mood lighting on and I just absolutely love it. So anyway that's it for today's video guys I really hope you've enjoyed it. And don't forget I'll be doing a makeup collection soon, an updated makeup collection video I hope you're going to enjoy that too. Don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe and I'm going to love and leave you and see you all soon. Hope you're having a great day wherever you are and whatever you are doing. Bye!